So whenever you're ready, go ahead and tell us your first and last name, where you went to elementary school, and what year you are at CCHS. I'm Yara, I went to Giant City. I'm Savannah Grasher, I'm from DeSoto Grade School. I'm Jerrion Weston, and I came from Carbondale Middle School. I'm Deanna Folk, I went to Giant City. I'm Ahmed Hindi, and I'm from Giant City. Aaron Taylor, I came from Unity Point School. Sophia Morello, I went to Giant City School. It's James Baltz, I'm a senior, and I went to Unity Point. Hi, I'm McKenna Hickey, I'm from Giant City School. I'm Novi Holiday, um, I'm 16, I'm a junior, and I came from Carbondale Middle School. Justin Camps, I went to CMS. I'm Will Bowlby, uh, I'm 16, I'm a junior, I came from DeSoto Grade School. Hi, I'm Malik Karen Walker, I'm from DeSoto Grade School. I'm Jordan Bradley, I came from Carbondale Middle School. It's Ella Summerlin, I am from Unity Point. I'm Kate Crumbar, uh, I went to Giant City. I'm Taylor Jones, I went to DeSoto. I'm Troy Patel, I went to CMS. I'm Gabriel Christensen, I went to Unity Point. It's Kylie Crondo, I went to CMS. And I'm Merritt Vaughn, I went to DeSoto. I'm Nolan Hand, I'm from Unity Point. I'm um, Ryan, I'm a senior, I went to CMS. I'm Corey Crumbar, I went to Giant City School. I'm Lydia Fred, um, I'm a sophomore, and I went to DeSoto Grade School. So my name's Evan from Unity Point. My name's Ryan Hawk, I came from CMS. I'm Emma Doris, I'm a senior, and I went to Giant City School. I'm Eli, I'm from Unity Point. I'm Carson Adkins, I went to Unity Point. I'm Tanner Burke, and I went to Giant City School. I'm Jacob Throgmorton, I went to Giant City. I'm Julia Oberg, Giant City. This is Kiera Cobb, I came from Carbondale Middle School. I'm Philip Johnson, and I went to Carbondale Middle School. This is Hannah Lowndes, I went to Unity Point. Ty Down, I went to DeSoto Grade School. This is Omar Nasser, I went to CMS. Okay, I'm Noah Tomas Perez, I went to CMS. Um, I'm Long Mega, I went to Carbondale Middle School. Jalen Powell, I went to CMS. This is Jackson Grant, I went to Carbondale Middle School. I'm Tiana Rush, I went to DeSoto Grade School. I'm Alex Van Winkle, and I went to Unity Point. This is Narisha Muhammad Ali. I went to Unity Point. Secure Coaster, I went to CMS. So Austin Helbach, I went to Unity Point. My name is Justin Madison, you know, and I went to Giant City. Catherine Schwartz from DeSoto Grade School. Scott Goals, I'm from Unity Point. This is Emma Schick, I went to Giant City. It's William Neal, I came from DeSoto Grade School. My name is Jackson Beaupre, I am from Unity Point. Is there anything that you want your teachers to know that they didn't know while you were in grade school? I feel like now. I'm a leader. I paid attention in class, I promise. I'm actually a pilot in training. I know that I drew my papers a lot, but that really helped me study, so I'm sorry, but that's kind of how I passed. My math teacher, Miss Stanley, I was in the hospital a lot towards the end of the year last year because of an injury, and she just really helped me. Mr. Morelli probably already knew this, but if we had like one difficult question on, the te on a test or quiz, we would wait so we could study and learn, figure out how to do the problem and then do it later at like lunch. I never really, I don't want to say cared, but I never really considered science as something I wanted to do as an adult when I was younger. Um, but then I had Mr. Garth for two years and now he's retired. So, But yeah, I really, really loved his class and it made me really interested and passionate about the environment and science. I remember uh, Mr. Wright, the English teacher for the junior high, um, teaching us the saying, proper preparation prevents poor performance. I think a lot of my teachers don't know, like every single one of them had an impact on my life in some way. I've really blossomed out of my shell. I wasn't as shy as I was in grade school. I've, uh, high school's really helped pull myself out of my little bubble I put myself in. I zoned off a lot in class. I wish I had told them is how much I appreciated them while I was there. Um, I left and I kept visiting and I would tell them how much I missed them and how much I loved them, but I wish I did it more while I was there. I felt very at home. I felt very welcomed at Giant City, even though I was new and all my teachers were so uh, kind to me and appreciate or supporting of my situations. I want y'all to know that I'm a lot cooler than what y'all thought I was. I'm a lot smoother than what y'all thought I was. I'm a lot smarter than what y'all thought I was. And I'm a lot fresher than, than y'all thought I was. Are there any positive memories from a specific teacher or a specific class? Mr. McGowan, he was my social studies teacher. And he was a pretty strict teacher. That's what he was known for, at least. And I remember that he, to the students that tried really, really hard, he would connect with really well and he would make it like we would have fun with us. Going into Miss Peck's class and being able to like talk to her about like how my day went. Uh, while I was in Giant City, it was a great little small group that I had there. Um, just really, I don't know, I felt really connected to everyone, even my teachers while I was there. 
One of my favorite memories was eighth grade trip. We went to Branson, Missouri, and it was so much fun. It was just Miss Bassett was my teacher, and I had such a fun class, and there were so many fun people in there, and it just really made it a good experience. So everyone was very welcoming, and it was my birthday, and they all surprised me. Um, Miss Gurley's third grade class was pretty awesome. The entire eighth grade year, um, we were all just one family, big family. Oh, I remember in first grade, Miss Gurley class, we literally made green eggs and ham. Anytime I was sick or had a headache or anything, I couldn't go home. My uh, history teacher, Miss Finney, would always let me. She had a free period, and I was always going there and sleep. I remember um, I had a really great teacher, Mrs. Brown, for the AT program, and we had this wonderful like Civil War ball. Um, every time like we had like a new lesson in math, like Miss Cruz would always uh, make a song out of everything. And then Mr. Glenn, because he was like a father figure to me. Mr. Frick, he was the best teacher that I ever had. I always loved my sixth grade class with Miss Hill. Just a good class. Are there any shout outs or a thank you message you want to give to a specific teacher? I want to thank Mr. McGowan for being so hard on me. I just want to thank the whole CES 95 district for preparing me for, uh, to be the person that I am today. I would like to thank my 8th grade and 7th grade math teacher, Mr. Coral. Uh, I'm going to thank Miss Cruz from DeSoto for um, just being cool and not bombarding me with work all the time. Um. Even though I never had her, I want to shout out to my mom, Brooke Crumbar. She's now a third grade teacher at Thomas. Um, she's a positive influence to everybody she's around, especially me. Mrs. Crumbar is the best teacher ever, best mom ever, best person ever. I'd like to thank my mom for being an awesome teacher. I'd like to thank Miss Madison. We had lots of good conversations. She's from CMS. And um, I will always remember what she told me. Um, be successful. Remain humble and dance, and I'll always remember that. Miss Opp, uh, who now works at CMS, was the teacher who introduced me to what school could really be. Uh, Miss Richardson, she was a um, gifted arts teacher. Uh, Miss Hill, she has she helped me a lot in to like learn literature. English teacher Miss Desmo prepared me for high school. From here, I want to thank uh, Ms. Jones, my photography teacher from last year, because I was really going to drop out of that class, but then she told me not to, and I ended up winning an award. Uh, I would like to shout out Mr. Rogers, because he's pretty cool. I probably have to thank uh, Ms. Glenn at Unity Point. She was just always nice and helped me whenever I needed it. Um, Ms. Hanniger, she retired. Uh, our last year was her last year, but she kind of Help me get out of my, you know, shell. Mr. Garth for science. Uh, I want to thank Miss Clough, Miss Cruz, and Miss Finney for helping me through grade school. Um, all my teachers, Miss Desmo, Miss Cruz, Miss Clough, and Miss Ricardo. Mrs. Fuchel, even after I left her class, was still a really great friend and person to talk to. I want to thank Mr. Buss for being a great history teacher. Miss Spears, fourth grade. And you know, as a kid, it's hard to get across what what pe adults in your life mean to you. So they did a lot. What do you want to do after high school? Chemical engineer. Oh, I want to go to college for intro. I have no idea. I want to work in nursing. I'm an international lawyer for forensic science. Yeah, I'm a homicide detective, and I plan on attending CSU for track and field. Environmental or nuclear engineering. Uh, I want to study about electrical engineering. I want to be a chiropractor. I want to play baseball in college. 
become a physical therapist. Chemical engineer. I just want to make a lot of money. With the medical field, I'm an Arbon consultant. To start farming. I want to be a needle needle nurse. Yeah, I want to be a cosmetologist, a surgeon. Uh, I want to study astronomy in college. That's zoology. I go to med school to be a pediatric oncologist. Engineering. Heating and technician. I'm going to go into the military and then go into the medical field. Um, so I'm kind of looking at the medical field. Uh, major in radiation science. I would like to become a lineman or play sports. Oh, I'm going to join the Peace Corps and then I'm going to go to college and probably major in political science. I want to do something with science, maybe help uh, helping the environment or maybe do something with engineering. An airliner pilot. Being a lawyer. I want to be a physical therapist. I want to do something in the agricultural field. I want to be a physical therapist or an athletic trainer. And be a military officer. Throw shot put college. I want to go into the pediatric field. Um, I want to become a PA. I want to be a neurologist. I think it'd be great to go into a career that involves like children helping like our youth. I want to be an elementary school teacher. I just want to thank all my past teachers. They're, they're all amazing and it's actually the reason I want to become a teacher in the future.